The prospect of a new year is always encouraging. Whether you're an optimist or even a pessimist, the closing of one door and the opening of another is invariably welcoming. Your new year aspirations may be grand or positive in some way. Perhaps you have the deliberate plan to not change. Maybe you're quite comfortable in your day-to-day -day life. And of course, that's fine. Regardless, mankind has the tendency to set beginnings and ends. The calendar year does just that. While things may or may not change with your lifestyle or habits, just the thought of a farewell to the past and hello to the future is quite vitalizing. You and I know not of what tomorrow will bring, but we can look at history and identify trends in order to make our own hypotheses. When it comes to the tools of tobacco, tomorrow doesn't look so great. Cigarettes and cigars still financially dominate the sphere with, with chewing tobacco close behind, but each day it seems as if each of those are shunned more and more. Federal and state laws abundantly prohibit smoking indoors in most locations and enforce those tobacco consumers out, confining them to a small, removed and remote area. In fact, these two are being removed. These prohibitions stem from both government intervention and, and private businesses' personal inclination. And unfortunately, the smoking pipe is just no exception. Laws, statutes, rules, and, and tax have severely punished the American pipe smoker. By default, due to the worldly disdain of cigarettes, e-cigs, and vapes. And Americans are not alone. The European pipe smoker pays a heavy tax as well. They also have now what was once a beautifully and artistically designed tin or, or can of tobacco. Now they have a container that's been befouled with warning labels and depictions of unrelated cancer propaganda. Pipe smokers around the world share this fate. Pipe smokers of Asia, South America, and oh, the Canadians have all been affected. It's quite evident that the health concerns and in growing public discontent towards cigarettes and sometimes cigars is the root cause for this war on tobacco. And very unfortunately, the pipe smoker is caught in the crossfire. Now I'll add outside of legislation or, or legal and private code, the hobby, art, practice, or what have you of pipe smoking is undeniably on the decline. Ish. Let me explain. We find today that the overall number of tobacconists throughout the world is simply in decline. By tobacconists, I mean the men and women who head retail tobacco shops, both online and physical brick and mortar. Real tobacconists. The shops that sell pipes, tobacco, cigars, and other related products. They sell pipes made of various woods, including briar. They sell corn cobs. They sell clays and meerschaums. They sometimes, and really ideally, handcraft their own pipe tobacco blends alongside the sale of the industry giants. Today, we find that these shops, especially the physical stores, are just disappearing more and more each year. There was a time where a pipe shop could sell exclusively pipes and tobacco and do quite well financially. Today, a physical store with that model is almost guaranteed to fail. Those that remain are likely heavily reliant on cigar sales. Now, pipe smokers should and really do welcome this. We may be brothers of the briar, but it's our cigar cousins who are always there to have our back. But those stores that have folded completely, turning to glass pipes and vapes and all that other stuff, there's no return for them. The Tinderbox, a tobacconist chain founded in 1928, once grew to a height of 200 stores across the United States. Today, just 24 remain. New York's famous Nat Sherman, tobacconist to the world, recently closed their doors after 90 historic years. Drug stores these days seldom sell those drug store tobaccos, namely those over-the-counter blends like Half and Half, Captain Black, Sir Walter Raleigh, and uh, Prince Albert. And it's not from lack of want nor regulation, but because they simply don't sell as much, at least maybe locally. Smoking bars are a rarity for sure. If anything, the name Cigar Bar dominates, only alienating pipe smoking further. Casinos still allow smoking for sure, but many prohibit pipes specifically likely due to the fear of bringing in marijuana into the establishment, but still. I actually recently just returned home from a trip to New England, my birthplace. After moving through TSA, 
I had to get one of my carry-on items looked at. The older gentleman of 70 or so opened up my carry-on bag and pulled out a sealed metal can. What's in here, he asks. Oh, it's pipe tobacco, still sealed in a paint can. Wow, you also have a pipe. Hmm, that's not something you see anymore. And that event somberly resonated with me. I feigned a smile and said, yeah, you really don't. Pipe smoking as a practice is undeniably small and getting smaller, but in its own way, it's bigger than ever. Now the explanation. It is great to reminisce and at times even fantasize about the so-called golden age of pipe smoking. A time when actors were admired for smoking an elegant pipe or authors just simply known to never not have a pipe in their mouth. The days where pipes were actually an accessory in men's fashion and were revered as such. A common place between the blue collar and the white collar, a tobacco pipe. Now that said, during said golden age, many people, including the abundant number of daily pipe smokers, couldn't tell you anything about the hobby. Now I realize that's a rather bold claim, but it was really only the extreme enthusiasts who truly understood the vastness of tobacco, pipes, and smoking. Today, we all know about Latakia and Virginias and of course aromatics. We know the myriad of pipe shapes and the vast number of incredible artisan carvers. We know the factory giants and where to get any pipe we might desire. Now take us back to the 1920s or 30s, hell even the 70s, 80s, 90s. Ask them what tobacco they're smoking. They'll probably look at you funny and say pipe tobacco of course. Maybe ask them what pipe shape. Probably a billiard. From who? whatever factory supplied the local drugstore or tobacconist. Of course, this is a blanket statement, and it's obviously going to be untrue in many small circles. But at large, the point remains. Today, pipe smokers are enthusiasts. If you're watching this video right now, you're an enthusiast too. Or mayhaps my video just made its way to your recommended, and now I've piqued your interest. The point I'm trying to make is that although our pocket of the internet is, is quite small, the exchange of information is limitless. Every day we get to talk about pipes and tobacco. We learn more and more each day. Artisans have businesses online through their sites and, and Instagram and Facebook pages, whereas before their sales were dictated by the shops they were displayed in. Today I can message Sean Ream, an artisan with 7,000 followers on Instagram, and commission a handmade pipe. I can call Mr. John David Cole from Jackson, Mississippi's The Country Squire Tobacconist and put in a custom order of, of straight tobaccos like pure Latakia, pure Perique, pure Cavendish, Burley, different Orientals, all to individually learn in the deeper nuances of that particular tobacco and to develop my palate further. Video on that coming soon. I can watch quality pipe discussion based content on YouTube from Alan in his old Carolina pipe cottage or learn how to carve my own from master carver Jay Allen over at Jay Allen Pipes. Two awesome Allens, by the way. I can even smoke my pipe on my way to work, listening to a podcast concerning all things pipes and tobacco, like in Mike Murphy and Jay Furman's Pipe and Tamper podcast. The growth of pipe smoking as a hobby in terms of sales is of course of great concern, but the pipe smoker's presence on social media is ever growing. Most tobacconists take orders by phone or online, and as many of you know, the massive sites dedicated to just pipes and tobacco, where you can get nearly any blend still in production or any pipe from any artisan carver or factory. And that includes the makers of old through the estate pipe market. Pipe smoking isn't going anywhere. I do think there is a great deal of potential for it to grow. While we may have to take up the sword to combat anti-smoking bills or, or raise the shield against increased tobacco tax or smoking bans, somehow pipe smokers continue to endure. We sell our favorite tobacco blends, we commission pipes from favorite artisans, we get the latest works from the factories. We turn to social media, like my YouTube channel, to continue to immerse ourselves and to converse amongst ourselves. Pipe smoking as a whole is an art, sure. Collecting and the literal smoking of a pipe is, is merely a hobby, but above the surface, it's an art. The artisan who sketches, plans, cuts, carves, and shapes his tobacco pipe. The pipes for the everyday journey as well as the dress, holiday themed pipes and tobaccos. The publication of books and other media. The quiet smoke you enjoy while you're sitting with your thoughts, pondering, mulling over, and contemplating whatever it is that's on your mind. 
perhaps a problem set you're trying to work through or the delighted thoughts of your family maybe just a decompression from the day before or to prepare for the day ahead it's all just enchanting the modern tobacco pipe smoker has a remarkable privilege to play an integral part in this art we call pipe smoking. Tomorrow looks pretty damn good for us. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. My goal here is just to have fun and talk about something I quite enjoy. Please consider doing the whole like, subscribe, and share thing. It really does help me out in my quest to spread pipe smoking. Perhaps all the comments and likes and shares will, will send this video to the, the pipe smoker of tomorrow. You can always connect with me further on Instagram at get underscore piped, or you can go ahead and join the get piped community discord, an awesome place where you're able to share your collections or ask questions or discuss all things pipes and smoke. My Etsy store is also linked below as well as my podcast, the get piped podcast, which is now live. I will also have all mentions from the video in the link below. And apparently my video cut out, so no more video, but uh, we'll uh, end it right here. You have just been piped. Until the next piping, I'm out. Hey, seriously, guys, I really appreciate all the support. This is totally off script, uh, but... Thank you. Really do appreciate it. I don't tend to do a, a serious video. I try to make a lot of jokes. This one I kind of wanted to take super serious. Um, and I know I'm a young guy, but hey, I'm, a, I'm trying to be a student of the craft and always trying to get better, always trying to learn. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys. Till the next time. You just got piped. I'm going to go get piped right now.